Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I'm going to be doing something that's different from what I usually do. I'm going to tell you how to use Dazzles on newer Windows 11 or newer versions of Windows 10, which is kind of a pain for many people to set up because Dazzles are pretty known for not working that well on newer versions of Windows. But I figured out a way and I've helped three people get this set up, and here's a Dazzle right here. Um, I'm using a, a MacBook Pro with Windows 8.1 in it running boot camp. So the process is the same, don't worry, but I'm just going to show you what to do. So first, you're going to make sure you want to have all your Dazzle drivers uninstall your system and un uninstall all of them. Usually, um, there should be an option to do it. I'm not actually going to uninstall or install because it's pointless because I already have working drivers. But yeah, it should look a bit different on Windows 10 and Windows 11. But you want to uninstall the drivers. And then after that, you want to restart your computer. This is important because if you don't restart your computer, it probably will not work. Anyway, then you go into the Dazzle drivers and the zip file that I put in the link in the description and install that. Okay. All right. I don't know how. Oh, there you go. And then you're going to want to restart your computer again. So restart it for a second time. Um, I'm not going to actually restart it because I know what I'm doing. But anyway, um, that's the first step. The next step is to download Amarec. You can also use other software, but Amarec's pretty good for this. I like using Virtual Dub 2 and I'll show it off. But you're gonna to wanna to extract Amarec. This is also in the description. Yeah, I had another copy job going on. Um, and gonna to wanna, to, you're gonna to wanna to run Lagrith setup. This is a video codec that's lossless. It's useful if you want to record. Oh, that was quick. It's useful if you want to record. And then after that, you should be mostly set. So we're going to run Amarok TV. I'm going to run it as an admin. All right. So here's the settings. You're going to want to use composite master volume on this. You're also going to want to use... Um, I would just recommend you set it to 30 frames per second. These settings are good. We use Lagarth codec. You can set it to S-Video if you're using S-Video for whatever reason. Anyway, I think those are the right settings. You'll want to click apply and then okay. Um... My computer does that all the time where it just blips out. Um, yeah, you're going to want to make sure that everything's set up and you have a capture. You have a, you're going to want to make sure you have a file path to save your videos on. Anyway, this is mostly what you have to do. Um, it's just not showing. Oh yeah, I have to turn on my VCR. There we go. So my VCR is connected. Um, and I have a VHS tape here, everything you wanna know about the internet. I almost forgot the most important step, you wanna record. All right. All right. It's Hi, good. I'm Gary Morse. And I'm Laura Lewis. And this is The Insiders. On this Insiders, we're going to teach you everything you need to know about the internet and how to use it. By the time this 30 minute program is over, you Why is the stop button? 
No, the the recording you're gonna have is gonna be pretty big. So the next step is to convert it with Handbrake. But before that, I'm gonna show you another tool that I like to use. This will also be in the description called Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub 2 is what I use. You can also use that. I'm just gonna close Amarek first. It's more advanced. I like using it personally. Um, you're gonna wanna go to Capture AVI and make sure your Dazzle's set and the line is set to add Dazzle Audio Device. You also wanna go to make sure you go to Compression and select Lagrith. Remember, the, selecting the Lagrith codec is important and you're gonna wanna make sure you have plenty of disk space in order to record with. And then when everything's set, you need to set a capture file, so. Videos, internet. All right, capture video. So you can use either or, either software will do the job. There's also Pinnacle Studio, which costs money, but these are free software. Okay, this will record. If you want to stop it, I don't know why there's a weird overlay on this. Oh, there, never mind. That was just the tape. Um, you want to click stop capture. And there we go. Now, um, the since the file that you will have recorded is very large, let me just play it right now. And look, there's no lag at all. There's no choppiness, there's no high pitch audio voice. It's all perfect. So you're gonna wanna um, install Handbrake. Handbrake's a video encoder, it's pretty popular. All right. This is an older version of Windows 8.1, but basically you just drag and drop and encode the file. I'm sorry this tutorial wasn't put too well together. I'm just, I, and I'm sorry I'm using a camera to record this, but this computer is pretty old and it won't record well. But you can either, because most video player software won't play the um, Amarok video, whatever video it is with the Lag Earth codec, you're wanting, you're going to use Handbrake. But you just, you just launch Handbrake and then you drag and drop the video file and um, just press the start button. You can also tweak the settings if you w want. Um, and I think there is an option to de analyze the video. But anyway, then you can have an output file. Just Google, if you're still confused on how to use Handbrake, just see a tutorial, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you can upload to YouTube or Internet Archive or whatever. And yeah, that's about it. So basically the trick is that if, if you have choppiness or high pitch noise or whatever, the trick you probably didn't know is to just install the Lagrith video codec. And that's very important. It's a lossless video codec and it will record properly with it. That's all I wanted to say. Good luck using your Dazzle and have fun recording. Bye.